today's video is going to be my try on haul of my luxury ready to wear. I have pieces from Self Portrait, Balmain, Isabelle Marron. Hello, my name is Amy, and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. I'm going to make sure to update the links down below in the description box of this video because I know for a fact that throughout this whole month, even until the holiday season, there's gonna be different coupons and different sales going on at different places. And if you're interested in any of the pieces that I'm gonna show you, definitely check out the links down below. This Balmain cardigan that I'm wearing right now, I bought a while ago around spring, I think, or early spring. So I'm also gonna link it below because I know the ones of you who got it based off of my recommendation loved it and oh my goodness if you can get it on sale it's even better right i'm not wearing any jewelry at the moment because i also wanted to unbox my new pieces from Ana Luisa. Thank you so much Ana Luisa for sponsoring this part of the video. I have four pieces right here and I love that they have minimalist packaging now because everything is about eco-friendliness and in fact when I buy things online I try to choose their eco packages as well. The first piece that I have right here is this gold twist ring in a rope style and this is the slim version. They also have a thicker version. I love all the rope intricate details on the ring it's very dainty and so easy to match the second piece comes in this pouch and it has the name of the um I, I don't know who she is but i assume she's like you know uh, a pretty big influencer that collaborated with them and i saw this piece and i thought it was very interesting so this is a necklace inspired by paper clips and i love that the clasp is very unique and so easy to wear. What I also like about this piece is that this is fine jewelry. So the base metal is recycled silver and the coating is plated gold. So super unique piece. I feel like it's something that you can wear um, probably with a sweatshirt, uh, just cause it's more edgy and it's like literally I don't have to look at it and I can just put it on really cute so yeah just something a little shorter uh, it's not quite a choker but it's like you know the the kind of length that is perfect as a shorter necklace and it gives uh, more of a statement without going overboard. Let's open up the next piece. These are super cute as a pair of very dainty everyday wear pair of earrings. These earrings are also fine jewelry it is also sterling silver based and dipped or plated in gold. The fact that they're silver plated in gold means that they're hypoallergenic. Last but not least, this is a piece that I kept seeing on my good friend and also partner in crime of our luxury live show, Kat. I keep on seeing her wear this in several of her videos, so I had to get this one as well. Love the chain detail. There's a little plaque in the middle that says BU. I'm wearing it at the shortest setting, but it's actually perfect as sort of a sort of a lower choker, not quite like a high choker, which is actually a lot more comfortable. I much prefer it. It's 14 inch and it has a two inch extender, but I wore it on the shortest setting. So I'm wearing it on the 14 inch setting. And yeah, it's super really comfortable. It's the right length for a, um, I guess for a lower choker on a smaller neck, but if you have a thicker neck, then there's, you know, a two inch extender. And like I said, this one, did I say it was 15 inch, I think, but it was just the perfect design and you can, you don't even have to look and just wear it as a, kind of like a statement that is also higher up on your neck. Obviously, I'm not gonna wear them together, but I just wanted to show you the difference. Thank you again to Ana Luisa for sending me these beautiful pieces. I'm gonna be linking all of these down below. And like I said, they are having their Black Friday sale as well. Okay, let's start off this haul with two of my favorite pieces that I bought a while ago. Beautiful cardigan from Self Portrait. This is from the new collection. And the moment I saw it, I was like, okay, I need to have this one. It's the perfect color. I love the color red. It is a wool blend. It's actually 80% wool and 20% cotton, I think. So super warm. It's really in trend because it is cropped, but it has wider shoulders. So it has this kind of slightly puffed shoulders. Remember the Chanel spring summer fashion show that I commented on, that I made a whole video on? Well, this is 
sort of around that vibe but not quite as crazy like it still has the wide shoulder and it's still cropped but it's a cardigan so it's super wearable and it's great for the winter and I love that you can wear it as a top or as a cardigan so very similar to how I would wear this cardigan I can wear it as a cardigan or as a top so super versatile another piece from self-portrait that I fell in love the moment that I saw it I think I fell in love with it in the summer and I bought it so early on but didn't have a chance to wear it and then all of a sudden fall is almost over well not really but um, plus I have nowhere to go but it's a beautiful blazer dress and I saw it on their social media, I think, the first time, and I just immediately knew that I have to have it. It's a tuxedo style blazer dress, so it's pretty long. It has obviously tuxedo style lapels, and it's a wool blend black fabric, and it also has a little belted detail. It is oversized, it's actually quite oversized, a little wider in look so a little bit more in trend again i really like that they added lace detail on the bottom so it's more oversized more masculine in a way but because of the lace detail it feminizes it a bit so the rest of the haul is brand new and i'm gonna show you this one since you probably saw it on the thumbnail so this is an isabelle marron little sweatshirt I just thought that I would give it a try because I don't have any pieces from Isabelle Marant. Actually, this is from their Etoile line, which is, I think, their more affordable line. This is embroidered. Unless I'm dressing up, I'm usually pretty casual, so I wanted to give this one a try. Up next is another cardigan, also from Self Portrait. I got it in a size small. It's actually quite heavy and it has a lot of rhinestone details. As you can see, it runs all the way around the neckline and down the sweater it has these kind of more puffy sleeves and a drop shoulder this is how the button looks like on this one i'm pretty sure these are the same ones that they used on the red cardigan it's a crop sweater with lace detail on the bottom i actually really like the little uh, cutout as well on the side and it has also these puff sleeves very in trend very similar material to the cardigan and in fact it's probably the same material it looks like it would be a pretty comfortable fit like a little loose but not super loose and slightly cropped really really nice uh, and uh, it's really really nice color too like the winter whites by the way this is the um, eco packaging that I was talking about so I don't bother with the inside boxes anymore i just get their recyclable box it's the same thing as the red cardigan but in a dress format so i'm super excited about this because i already have the cardigan so the dress probably will look also quite amazing i did choose the shorter version because um those models are really tall and on them it looks long already on me it would look like I'm wearing a floor length dress. So this is the Balmain piece that I ordered. It is a tweed jacket and it is sort of like a, the you know, the signature Balmain fit, which is very pronounced shoulders. It is a blue and black color. It has a, the signature buttons. With this tweed jacket, I did go uh, down a size or actually I'm a size 34 in Balmain jackets, like the very structured and more boxy looking ones. But these, um, these cardigans are actually more stretchy and they are made more slim, I think. So I did uh, size up or I did choose a size 36 on the cardigans but usually in all their boxier jackets i do take a size 34 so again like i said it's black friday season i'm gonna be updating all the codes and all the links down below as we go throughout i don't know the next month or so or the next few weeks because i know that it's a matter of time that more and more of these pieces will either go on deeper sale or have more stock or whatnot let me know which pieces were your favorite or what you're eyeing perhaps maybe i can take a peek as well thank you so much for watching if you're new here i would love to have you back hope that you consider subscribing also check out these two videos besides you and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye